Marco. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I'm Megan Zeman. I'm going to be talking about growth mindset in the classroom, uh, which I know that um, a lot of you guys do, which is great. Um, but here are just some stuff that I do. <laughs> uh, so the biggest thing that I do is kind of that mindset portion, is that I, I look for and I celebrate growth in all forms. Um, and sometimes you have to be really creative because a lot of times uh, students have trouble recognizing growth within themselves, um, as well as other like human beings in general. It's a lag. <laughs> it's like not lagging here, but it's here. <laughs> All right. Cool. No? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so here's some things that I do in order to do that. Uh, I have students of the week. And so for every period that we have on Fridays is usually our day, um, I get to just shout them out. And so we do a whole thing. I try to take some time at either the beginning of the period or at the end of the period. Um, and it's something that. Um, Students may say, like, I don't care about this, but then uh, they always remind you when you forget, and they always ask uh, who it's going to be and if it's going to be them. So, uh, Student of the Week, what is it? It's an opportunity to acknowledge something about a student uh, that you noticed or classmates noticed. So in one of my periods, um, they wanted to nominate Students of the Week. So that's what we do now, right? I'm just like, hey, guys, if anyone likes see something, just let me know. Um, kind of peep it out. And then you make my job way easier, and it's coming from you guys. And so that way, um, that happens. Um, how do they do it? Doesn't matter. Like, it's totally up to you. It's totally up to the classmates. Um, and I tell them at the beginning when I introduce it that it could be for anything. Really what I'm looking for um, is excellence in some way, shape, or form. A lot of times, excellence is in growth. Um, so it is someone that, like, let's say they come party every day to my class 20 minutes, and we talk. I was like, hey, ma'am, can't do this. And they're like, man, I really got to go to the bathroom, though. And I was like, can we make it, like, one minute? And then they make it one minute, and I notice, and I'm like, hey, great job. This is awesome. And I give them student of the week. That could be something. It could be someone who's struggling, but they're going into tutoring now, and I'm seeing a kind of a growth in that. So, again, it's not that they're perfect, and it's not that they're necessarily an A student. It's not even that they're particularly, like, great to have around because they can kind of cause as we know, some tension sometimes. But it's really that mindset that like everybody could do it. I keep a little record just for myself about when they do it. I give a little blurb about like why did I say it? Um, and that helps me with reflection. Um, and it helps students to kind of wonder what's going on. Um, how's with mindset? You'd be surprised. A lot of students um, have told, have like made it known uh, that it was their goal to get it. Uh, in short, everyone likes being acknowledged and on purpose. And in some way, that's kind of a public way. Um, story time. There's a bunch of stories I can go with this. I do have a handful. There was one student that I had as a freshman. I've known her um, all four years, and she brings up literally all the time that she never got student of the week. And it was something that like, bothered her. <laughs> and she was like, I tried. And I was like, but, but did you? <laughs> like, I remember specifically our conversation about the growth I would love to see in you. Um, and you literally <laughs> never did it, right? It's like, she's like, oh, but I was young. And I'm just like, that was three months ago. Yes, you were young and, and now you're wise. And so I like laminated this really colorful one and I gave it to her and now she's like, I have it. Um, we also do um, a handful of things where people um, <coughs> can get mad or something, and so a lot of them, they're wondering like, well, it's only one student at a time. Um, and so this kind of goes into another thing that I do, uh, which I actually made this like fake refrigerator in my room, it's a dry erase board. Um, and I like, you know, put work up there. So, I really like gimmicks, and I'm not gonna apologize for it. <laughs> Um, so how the refrigerator works, remember when your parents put work on the refrigerator? Yeah, that was super cool. So I do it now. Um, why, like what goes on there? Traditionally, I put exams or quizzes. A lot of times I really focus on high scores and um, most improved. And so there's two different kinds of categories that we talk about. Um, when I do exams, I usually put their score from the exam that they did before. And I put their score that they had this time and I show them the change in results. That kind of keeps them in tune, like, okay, if I'm getting, you know, in what they would consider like a good grade, is that staying there or am I making these big improvements? And for the students who like didn't do well, 
and then now they're doing okay or they're doing way better, they get to get shouted out like, you had a 30% growth, that's amazing. Um, and so a lot of that really helps to kind of put things in perspective, um, especially with students who like really struggle with doing um, work. If they, if they come in and they do things, like we do standard-based grading in, in, um, in my algebra one class. And so actually this right here, a student had like nothing done, like he was just kind of slacking off and he came into tutoring, he needed two in an hour, and then we hung him up right there and he like went up there and some students, you can't really see it, but they write like inspirational messages um, on there, like I don't ask them to do it, but they do and they, they do it and the one person colored, they just put stuff up here. Um, and so it's really a community place where like, I've had students who like got student of the week, I take it down and hand to them and they've like taped it up there. They're like, I'm proud of this. Um, so it's really a place where like anything can go there. It doesn't really matter. Um, a lot of students uh, really care. I actually did for a quiz. There's a student who was really struggling at the beginning um, and I ended up putting a quiz for like, if you got an A, I kind of put it up on the fridge and I'm like, like, where's mine? I was like, have you ever checked the fridge? And they're like, I didn't think I would ever be on there. <laughs> um, and so it was something that really meant something to them. It wasn't just the A, but it was that public recognition that went with it. And it's being able to say like, yeah, I'm noticing you're doing a great job. Um, and it's kind of giving that like, there are big and small victories everywhere. And the more you look for them, uh, the more that they'll be able to look for it in themselves and to have those moments. Um, so, I also help support students being self-aware to identify and create a plan for areas of growth. Um, something that I really notice, sometimes students get really frustrated when you do public recognition because if they're not the ones being recognized, then what's the point, right? I've had some students like under the breath, like, why did they get student the week? They don't deserve it. So we have talks and I was like, I wish that um, when you get there, right, when you grow, when you take control of your own kind of destiny in the sense that you're like, I'm tired of not doing well, I wanna do better. I hope the community uplifts you. And that's the point that we do this, right? Is that we're creating areas and space for you to succeed and for everyone to be happy for you. So in turn, you don't wanna steal someone else's sunshine, right? And everyone else's spotlight. Um, so when they do get really frustrated, I talk to them and I ask, what's something that we could work on? <coughs> something that you feel like you're struggling with here? And then just make the goal really obtainable. All right, cool, if it's getting to class on time, there's five days in a week, can you get to class three days of the week? That's really hard. All right, next week, let's do two days. Every time they come in, hey, great to see you. I'm so happy you're here. I noticed that you're trying. And just making that really, really purposeful in that I am checking in with them, I'm commenting. If they didn't improve, I comment too. Hey man, I know that we talked about getting to class on time. This is Wednesday and you haven't been to class, so that means Thursday, Friday, you know what I mean? You gotta be on time. Um, but the biggest thing is to have little reminders of the conversations to know that people care. The other thing is like, you really gotta get excited for them. Um, I always try to look for these small changes like I've said, um, but everyone needs a hype person and why not be you, right? A lot of times we really don't know what their family life is like. We don't know um, what kind of people they have in their corner. Some have none. I really want that to sink in. There's nothing wrong with assuming that they have none. You can't assume that they're gonna go home and someone's gonna say, how'd you do today? I'm glad you tried. You did enough, that's good. So when you come in and you kind of like, don't realize that or never have that kind of mind frame, um, it's really easy for students to fall through the cracks. Um, and so it's something that I know that in my personal practice, I'm <coughs> just as excited for them to achieve something as if I achieved it. Um, because I want to make sure that they know that that matters. That's something in which they can be excited for and it's okay to be happy about your own um, growth and it's okay to own it. It's okay to own and flex um, on your strengths and even to know that you're not there yet but you're still working. Uh, so that's kind of those itty bitty strategies. There's actually something I really want to shout out. Um, Taylor Flaherty and I, we worked, we were noticing that there were some issues um, with growth mindset and really with kind of this community building. This year in particular, uh, with some freshman classes, we were having trouble with them caring about the community. They cared about our relationship, my relationship with them, um, but they didn't really necessarily care as much about their community together. And so one thing that um, Taylor and I, and then with the help of our student teachers, um, developed are these classroom roles. I'm going to be very honest, they are a work in progress. I'm not to a point where I'm like, this is amazing, and I do this all the time. 
it was really time consuming. Uh, it has to be incredibly consistent. And it, um, I'm still working on exactly how to give meaningful feedback once they reflect, right? Yeah. Um, and so it's something that I'm still working on. So if you guys see this, and I linked um, things I'm gonna show you right now, if you have suggestions, like please, please, please let me know. Um, because I really feel like we are, we're at a really good point where these are great ideas. Um, but obviously everything can always improve and I've really grown a lot from all of your guys' input. So I really wanna thank you guys for allowing me to grow here. Um, and this is an example of something this year. So, um, as we can see, there's three real roles. Uh, I usually try to group students in groups of four or six, so not everyone's gonna have a role, and that's part of it. Um, but if we go here, All right, cool. Um, so an on-task manager, you imagined what it would be. Um, it's about being on task and you're managing it um, for everybody in your group. So uh, we put the, the roles of what they do. I would say that a good check is five, three or five times throughout the class. Um, and we try to aim to be evenly. So we talked about the setup with this. Um, you put your group member names, <coughs> you do Monday through Friday. And um, you can read more if you, if you care, but really you're giving them a check if they're not, if they are not on task when you do your check, you leave it blank and you remind them. A verbal reminder, you're like, hey man, get back on task, let's do it. Um, and then if they do it, then you get them the check, great. Um, if they don't, then you're just gonna go ahead, uh, leave it empty, and then the next time you check, if they're also still not on task, they get an X. And that's kind of that, that little growth. Um, this gets shared at the end of the week so they can see how it's been checked on them. Um, and we can have discussions. The next one is, Growth Mindset Motivator. I know these are really great names. Um, really what it is is this person's sole job is that within their group they have to praise every group member twice throughout the period, right? So if they say something, they're like, hey, way to go, way to be, good job, I like your thoughts, uh, you're a good person, anything like that. Um, and it doesn't really matter. So it could be like, hey, thank you for asking that question, it really benefited the group. Um, or it can be like, way to go to be on task, I notice that you're really trying today. It doesn't matter what it is, um, but it does have to be in that growth mindset in which you are growing, you're doing better, um, and things like that. And then the checklist is just to help the person keep track that they're doing that twice per person in their group every day. Um, if they're having trouble, constantly, especially when we were starting out, is I'm giving those reminders. Hey, I'm not really hearing a lot of motivating going on. Um, and then you hear like a chorus of like, good job. And I don't, <laughs> I will take that growth. Um, and so some people are like, I don't wanna do it. And I was like, well, I bet that everyone likes to hear that they did a good job. So if you could just tell me and that's good enough. Um, but yeah, the biggest thing is consistency with this. Some people really got into it. Some people didn't really get into it. Um, though with a lot of prodding, they kind of went through when it was attached to that engagement. Um, this one here is just a learning community leader or the LCL, because that sounds better. Um, and really it's just somebody who keeps track of, at the beginning of the year, we all set expectations um, from myself and also from the students. And we really talk a lot about those expectations. And so this person's job is basically to make sure that not only are those expectations being held, but that people are doing their jobs and they're being reminded about how things all work together. Um, we talked about how this takes a lot of pressure off of the one person or two people that are in the room and then talks about that together we learn. It's either together we learn or together we don't learn. Um, and it's really difficult to kind of do everything in sections and saying like, good luck all of you independent like individuals. I hope that I can teach you independently instead of coming together as a community. Um, and then this one is really just kind of checking. The check boxes are just to kind of give a little feedback as to what happened. but. In reality, if everything goes smoothly, the person who is the learning community leader does absolutely nothing, right? They just are a student, um, but they do step in when people are either being rude or again, going against those expectations. Um, the reason why I really like this, why I'm putting it into the growth mindset is because this really gives them a visualization about how they do in class. A lot of students are not self-aware enough to recognize I am doing X, Y, Z, and that is really impacting my learning. They just think that this class sucks. Um, and so instead of doing that, we have to uh, try to help them with being self-aware. Um, what we also have here is this really great rubric um, that actually Taylor developed. So shout out to Taylor. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and this really helps because at the end of the week, we would do weekly reflections. And you could put some evidence. So if you are not a person that's in a role, or even if you're in a role, but you're talking about those other people, you give them feedback. Like, hey, you did a good job at being a motivator. Or you didn't do a good job at being a motivator. And this is the feedback part that I'm still a little fuzzy on, um, that I'm still trying to work on, is how to give that feedback out to everyone. Because we were doing an electronic version of it. And it's really tough to kind of sift through and being like, hey, Jane, so I heard. Um, that you are not doing a great job with this. <laughs> um, how can we grow? Um, and so there's a lot of like kind of feedback things that I'm really trying to work through. Um, but it's definitely something that I found worked really well for um, for a lot of things. So set the expectations uh, that we are all here to uplift and improve, not tear down. Oop. Cool. Uh, the last bit of information that I could give is be human. I think a lot of times with growth mindset, I talk about my own growth all the time. I am very like transparent if I m made a mistake or if things aren't going my way or if I'm having a hard day. Um, but it's something I'm like, hey guys, I really appreciate this. Like I am working on being more organized so I can make sure that I'm updating Google Classroom like I said I would. Or I'm doing those emails or things like that. Um, I think being human is something that's really going to connect us all and we can all kind of see that. And that's it. Thank mm -hmm. you.